Hi guys, so I've got something very special today for you. A lot of my customers buy my HBA IT mode cards to use in this server. What we have here is Dell R720 XD. This is a 12 bay uh, large form factor server. And there's also an optional uh, rear flex bay that adds two more uh, two and a half inch drives in the rear. So this makes for a great form factor for storage servers. But it's also got very high capacity uh, memory. So it's also great for virtualization. And so that combination allows you to do a lot of things with this server. So it's, it's a great option for a lot of people. But what happens is that uh, these machines were originally spec'd with RAID controllers, either the H310 Mini or the H710 or 710P. And I know a lot of you guys are buying my stuff because you're using things like FreeNAS or Unraid and you want to use an HPA IT mode controller. And so a lot of people have been buying my controllers to drive the backplane here. Well, I want to show you something that's a little bit different and something that a lot of people have said can't be done or cannot be done. And um, so let's open this up and take a look. All right, got the lid off here. And this is a pretty, uh, this is new to me. I, I just bought this because I wanted to uh, do some research on uh, what I'm about to show you. So take a close look, guys. These are the PCI slots. There's three PCI slots here that are half height. There are two PCI slots here that are full height. And then one more that's uh, full height as well here. So in total, this machine has three uh, plus three, a uh, total of six PCIe slots. And a lot of cases I've been recommending to my customers to buy a half height card to go in here and then connect the cables from this area to the back plane over here in order to drive this back plane. And that's been the standard typical recommendation up until this point because what's here has been, I guess, commonly known to uh, only be a RAID card option, right? So what I have here is what uh, is called the H310 Mini Monolithic Module. So this is kind of a uh, onboard uh, Dell option, and there's basically a tiny little card here. And this module is basically, in this particular one, there's different options, but this particular one is the H310. It's basically uh, an H310 in a different form factor. And unfortunately, up until now, a lot of people have said they tried to flash this with IT mode firmware and it failed and basically rendered the system unbootable. And you'll get an error that says uh, invalid PCIe uh, card in the stored, integrated storage slot. Uh, very similar to, uh, if you recall, in my previous video with the R710 and its integrated storage slot, um, basically you get that same error. Now with the R710, that really was just a PCI slot. So if the card failed on you, you could basically take that card out, put it in a normal PCI slot and try to fix it. In this case, this is not a normal PCI slot. This is kind of some sort of proprietary uh, format that plugs onto the board. So if you mess this up, unfortunately it's not really repairable because you can't remove this and put it in a normal PCI slot to fix it. And so a lot of people have attempted to flash this to LSI IT mode and have failed and ended up with that error and essentially brick the card um, or brick this module and haven't been able to use it. And so a lot of people are resorting to using a regular PCI card that goes in one of these slots. I guess you could use any of them, but this one seems the most convenient because the cable comes out right here. And uh, using that option to drive the backplane. But this is no longer true. I've spent some time with this and with some of the insights I gathered from when uh, I showed you guys how to get the card to work in the inter integrated storage slot on the R710, I was basically able to make this H310 uh, run with LSI IT mode firmware. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, buckle this guy up, power it on and show you uh, that that's true. So I want you to make note that there are no other HBA cards in the system. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. So when I power this guy on, you're going to see that there is a LSI IT mode uh, HBA card in the server. 
and it's not any of these PCI slots. It is in fact this H310 mini monolithic card that has the IT mode firmware. All right, so let's go ahead and close this guy up. Okay guys, so what I have here is the iDRAC interface. Uh, I've logged into it and I've fired up the virtual console application. And let's go ahead and power this guy on. So immediately uh, we see the configuring memory message, which is a really good sign because if you have a so-called bricked uh, H310 mini, uh, you would already see at this point the uh, invalid card in integrated storage slot message. So we'll let this thing uh, continue its posting uh, process here. So right here you see the Avago LSI BIOS ROM loading from the card. Now keep in mind this is actually loading from that H310 uh, mini module because there's no other card in there. And you'll see that it is an LSI uh, SAS 2008 IT mode firmware version 20.0.7.0. All right, so let's go ahead and see what kind of card we have here. Oops. Okay, so you'll see that I have a Zero Touch SCSI card. It is an LSI 2000, SAS 2008, and that's here in the 1000, so that's the uh, hex code for LSI. And I've got 0072, that's the hex code for a SAS 2008 controller in IT mode. And so here's the secret, guys. You'll see the subsystem uh, vendor ID and product ID is uh, 1028 or 1028, which is for Dell, and then 1F51. This, it, it says device because the PCI database doesn't know about this yet, but, um, but basically 1F, uh, 1F51, that's the hex code for the H310 mini monolithic module. All right, so that's where a lot of people go wrong when they try to flash the H310 mini module. Basically, a lot of the procedures out there you'll find on the internet will tell you the first step is to uh, erase the SBR. They'll write over it with a file called empty.sbr or something like that, which is basically all zeros, and erase the flash, and then reboot, and then try to flash the firmware and the BIOS ROM and all that other stuff. Okay, so the problem with that process is that when you erase the SBR, you're going to erase this subsystem uh, product vendor and product ID. And that's what the Dell server checks for. So once you do that and you try to reboot, it's not going to boot because this stuff is all zeroed out. Okay, so the proper way to flash an H310 mini module is basically to set the SBR to exactly what it should be to begin with. And that is an SBR that's specifically designed for the LSI SAS 2008 IT mode controller with a subsystem uh, vendor ID as 1028 and the uh, subsystem product ID as 1F51. Okay, so long as you maintain this subsystem uh, vendor and product ID, the card will uh, boot in the uh, R7, uh, R720. Okay, so that's that's really just that's the whole secret here. Okay, and this is basically again something that I learned uh, when I was trying to figure out how to get the H two hundreds to boot in the R seven ten, and I'll leave a card to that video here. Um, I basically, if you saw that video, the the key factor wasn't so much what firmware it was running, but it was what the subsystem, a vendor, and product ID. Are. And so when I had heard that a lot of people were bricking these H310 minis and I uh, saw what they were trying to do, I had a suspicion that this was basically going to be the same thing. And so I figured out uh, the exact SBR that I needed uh, for the H310 mini and I changed the SBR and um, in my flashing process I actually don't need to reboot, I can kind of re just reset the card and uh, redetect it and then I'll just flash the firmware. And so anyway, uh, just to show you that this is really the uh, SAS 2008 IT mode card, 
I'll run a familiar command. So this is uh, the LSI SAS to flash utility and I'm just doing a listing. And so here you'll see the controller is a SAS 2008 and it is running the uh, IT mode firmware version 20.0.7.0 and it's just basically the same firmware as a SAS 9211-8i. Okay, so that's how you get the H310 Mini to work uh, with IT mode firmware. So I, I want to show you guys uh, some of the things that I found online about the H310 Mini and IT mode uh, firmware. So first of all, this is the error message that you would normally see when your H310 gets bricked. All right, so you'll see the invalid PCI card found in the internal storage slot, system halted, and basically the system will refuse to boot. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, screenshots that I found from a, a very uh, popular blog about how to flash uh, LSI IT mode firmware, and you'll see um, you know, these things, a small word of caution, if you try to flash the H310 mini adapter to the IT firmware, you will effectively break your storage. And unfortunately, here's another guy who says, I have a problem flashing my H310, and I did not see this guy before, uh, just, after my uh, just after my problem occurred. So unfortunately, this guy um, tried to flash the H310 mini and unfortunately uh, bricked it. So th that's, that's too bad. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, the first, the top one is also from the same uh, blog. Um, someone, I guess, asking um, uh, if anybody's had any luck with the H310 Mini uh, flashed IT firm, firmware, and that was from, from 2016. Sorry it took so long, but yes, um, there is an update. It is possible. I just showed you that in this video. And the, okay, yeah, and this is the blogger's uh, uh, response. The instructions on this page will not work. So that's actually true, and again, that's because of uh, the step where you erase the SBR. You don't want to erase the SBR. You just simply want to set it up correctly uh, in the first place. Okay, and here, this comment in the middle here is um, from, I think, one of the FreeNAS forums, um, and it says, uh, you know, someone's asking about the H310 Mini. Um, may, uh, may as well throw that on eBay you can't use it with FreeNAS. And so that's no longer true. Um, we can run IT mode firmware on the H310 Mini. And here it says, uh, it sounds like H310, uh, or it sounds like Mini is a problem. Um, the H310 Mini card uses a special firmware. And if you flash it with IT mode firmware you, uh, that you need, it breaks the card. So that's no longer true. Uh, what you could use is one of these. So um, coincidentally, this person, I guess uh, that link there on the bottom is actually to one of my uh, store listings. So thank you very much for referring people to my store. Um, but uh, the H310 Mini is now a option for FreeNAS as well. And this is, um, I think, things I found on Reddit. And so... Um, one, this person says, hey, it's, it's hit or miss with the mini cards. Uh, most people end up with dead cards. That's true if you erase the SBR. Um, I flashed a couple with no issues. So this person, I'm not sure how they're flashing their H310 mini. Um, you know, maybe they're not uh, changing the SBR at all. And so in that case, it'd probably be okay. Uh, and they're showing you what the, the message you would get if you um, end up with an invalid card. Okay, and here's another someone else saying, uh, "Don't flash the mini mono cards. Uh, Dell restricts the, the port they plug into, and uh, to Dell IR firmware cards only." So that's not exactly true. It's not the firmware that's restricted. It's the uh, PCI cards uh, subsystem vendor and product ID that's uh, the restriction. Okay, so and then we know that now. And so anyway. Um, if you try to flash it, uh, you cannot use it anymore. So yeah, that's if you modified the SBR. Okay, and then by the way, the mini card cannot be flashed to LSI uh, firmware since Dell checks the firmware of the card in the mini slot on boot. I already bricked an H310 mini trying to do this. And so that's unfortunate. Somebody else here um, 
also ended up breaking their H310. Uh, but again, it's not uh, not anything to do with the firmware. It's again just the uh, subsystem vendor and product ID in the SBR that is the restriction. Okay, so just wanted to share uh, some of the things I uh, found online about this, and and actually this is kind of um, after reading those things is what kind of motivated me to. Uh, actually buy an R720 XD myself with a uh, H310 Mini and to research this issue. Um, one, to um, figure out how to do it and two, to help my customers out who have the R720s uh, or similar generation uh, servers that can take the H310 Mini modules. All right guys, I already have a batch of these H310 Mini modules on order that are being shipped to me as I speak. Once I receive them and flash them to IT mode firmware, they will be listed up for sale in my eBay store. Now, as a special offer to my US-based YouTube followers, I am taking pre-orders of the first 20 units at a special discounted price. If you're based in the USA and would like to buy a H310 Mini with LSI IT firmware, I will leave my email address in the description box of this video. Shoot me a message saying that you would like to buy an H310 Mini with LSI IT firmware and I'll reply to you to confirm and get your PayPal payment. Once the first 20 units are ready, you will be receiving them in the mail. After that offer is over, the rest will be listed in my eBay store and I will link the product in the description box. Apologies to my non-US followers, I'm just currently not set up to ship outside the US directly, but you can still buy them at my eBay store shipped via eBay's global shipping program. So I'm really excited to offer the H310 Mini with IT firmware. I think this is going to be a great option for those with the R720 or similar servers that take the H310 Mini. I think it's great that what was considered impossible before is now possible. For the R720 or R720 XD, not only will you be able to save yourself a PCIe slot, but you can continue to use the Dell factory SAS cable from the motherboard to the backplane. So overall, it's just a better solution. All right, that's it. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please be uh, sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. Have a good day, bye-bye.